What's up, everybody? We back for another Sunday message. Listen, last week we had so much fun and we had so many positive comments that we was like, you know what? I'm, Jay, you want to come back and have some more? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm back. We're going to have fun. I have fun. Yeah, yeah she fun. had fun. It was a lot of fun. So, listen, you're going to get used to this face. I, she be getting on my nerves a little bit. But no, nah, nah, we good. Just playing. We're just playing. But anyway, we're back for another Sunday message and we're so excited for you to be here. But listen, Jay has a necklace on. That, that that says fearless. Yeah. And and as I was look, thinking about being fearless, I just wondered like, you know, during this time, it's so hard to be fearless when you it get is. so many negative reports and you get so much just turmoil coming your way at all times and so many negative uh, aspects of life coming right now. And and we just decided, you know what? Let's 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 talk about what being what it's like to be fearless. Yeah, cuz being fearless is extremely hard. I guess yeah. how would you describe I know that fear is the opposite of faith. Sure, sure. But what? How, how would you describe faith, per right. se? So the Bible says, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's Hebrews 11 and 1. And and, and I think what's really, really cool about that is that you're, you're hoping for things to get better and you're believing in God, even yeah. though you can't necessarily see Ooh. it. Which also, is, I saw also a verse said, we walk by faith and not by sight. Meaning that we can't always pay attention yeah. to what's in front of us. Because when you pay attention to what's in front of you, that's literally something that can cause you to stumble. But it's so funny you say that. Yeah. We tell people that all the time, walk by faith, not by sight. But how can I not focus on the thing that I'm running into? How can I take my eyes off of something that's tangible, something that's right yeah. in front of me, something that's not going right? The bank account is low, this, right, that, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So it's following that voice of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, I'd like to do an example. Okay, okay. Of uh, following the voice of God. Jay preaching now, y'all. No, just laughing. <laughs> no, no. I'm a visual learner. That's you know good. what I mean? That's good. That's so, good. So, um, I'll be the guinea pig. Okay. I'll be the guinea pig. Do you trust me? I trust you. I'll okay, trust so you. I have a blindfold. <laughs> Joe? Right. Okay, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. All right. All right. So, I'm going to have Joe put on this blindfold. So, put on this blindfold. Put it on right. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is, of course this is an example, okay? Like I'll pretend as if I'm like the the voice of God or or the destination or the blessing or the Lord. What Joe? Yeah. Hmm. Why are you trying to tie it up low? Do, do it the long way. Cause what if they go ahead? Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> so so Joe is representing who we are. Yeah. Um, you know, as we are trying to diligently seek Christ, right? As we are trying to follow in his path, Joe is going to be that representative and he's going to be trying to get to me, which is the voice of God when following the voice of God. So, yeah. Ah, this is going to be fun. Okay. You're going to make it fun. All right. Ah, we're going to turn you around. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Stay right there. Hold on, hold on. I got some more stuff. We have to make this interesting, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come here, and the goal is to get to me, but he has to listen. What is the scripture, Joe, that talks about listening to God because faith cometh by? Hearing. Okay. Yeah. So in order to have faith, he has to hear, right? Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. All right, Joe, take one step to the right. One step to the right. <laughs> take two steps forward. Joe, I would need you to turn to your left just a little bit. Okay. Okay, turn to your left a lot. Okay. Stop. All right. All right, take three steps forward. One, two, two three. <laughs> take one step to the left. All right, one. Take two steps forward. I need you to take a half a step forward. Oh, snap. I need you to take one step backwards. I need you to lift your right foot and step up. All right, I want you guys to really pay attention to something. First of all, his hesitation, right? Isn't that how we do with Christ? 
Like as we are following Christ, a lot of times we're not going fearlessly. Mm -hmm. So God never, God understands when we have fear. God understands when we hesitate. But as long as we're still listening to his voice and remember, God is a gentleman. Right? Yeah. God doesn't waste words. So he waits until we're really quiet. And I want you to guys also guys to also watch how intently he's listening from my direction. Yeah. I want you to also pay attention to where Joe is. He's right on the edge. It's a lot of people. Can we talk about that, Joe? Yeah, a lot of people good. right now that feel like they are on the edge. Yeah. They feel like they may fall off. But boy, I tell you, God will lead you right up to the edge, but he's not going to let you fall. Have you fallen yet? I ain't failed. Okay. All right. I need you to take one step forward. All right. That was a roadblock. Mm. All right. That was a roadblock. I need you to take two steps forward. Sometimes things can get in our way, but that doesn't stop what God's plan is for our life. Come on. I need you to take three very small steps forward, Joe. One, two, three. I need you to turn about maybe 45 degrees to your left. 45 more degrees to your left. <laughs> take That's one 90. step to the, oh, that would be 90, <laughs> two 45s. Take one step to the right, Joe. Nope. See, you see, he didn't listen. I said one step to the right. He took one step forward, which almost took him over the edge, right? Mm. That's why you got to listen. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you got to listen. Good. So take one step back. Okay. Take another step back. Now I want you to sit down slowly. And he made it to the goal. I yeah. It. I made it. I made it. You made it to the I goal. Made it. Can I what take was that? Yeah, you can take that off now. Right. I want you to explain to everybody what that was like. First of all, you sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but what was that like for you? Seriously. Man, it's 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 so surreal, right? Because as 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 somebody that 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 teaches and, and, and tells people about the gospel all the time, <laughs> it's so different to be in the moment yeah. where you have to do it in front of people. Yeah. Where you have to be the example. <laughs> and oftentimes God is using you as an example yeah, yeah. to show somebody else yeah. what faith looks like. And you know what's so funny? Yeah. Because and, and I want everybody to know, like, this was not planned. We literally yeah, just did man. Together. The fact that you, instead of taking that step to the right, yeah. you took that step forward. Right. You was almost a goner, Almost right? a goner, man. But that is, how often do we do that? Man, it's so in crazy. Life? It's so crazy. God is telling us, yeah. go this way. Right. But this way looks so much better. It looks so much yeah. faster. The world, everybody else is telling you in your mind, there's something in your mind is saying, right. no, this is the path. Yeah, man. Yeah. And we don't listen. And boy, yeah. sometimes we go right there to the or, edge. Or, or how how I was right here and I could feel myself right here because I've seen it before, but I was timid. <laughs> right? Yeah. And how timid we are trying to follow God, right? Like I like, okay, I'll do it, but I'm just I, I can't really fully get my get my whole faith into him because yeah. I can't necessarily see where he's going to take me. Yeah, you know sure, what I mean? And, sure. and, and I know oftentimes you don't necessarily know where God is taking you, but you got to trust it. Yeah. If And if he could take Abraham, if he could take Isaac, he could take Jacob, he can take the apostles, he can take mm -hmm. all these people that came before you in the Bible to show you what faith looks like, he can take you. Ooh, he can take you. That's good. He can take you. All we got to do is listen intently, right? That's all you got to do is listen intently, man. Oh, man. All listen. right. Wait, do you mind if we pray? Let's pray, man. Let's pray. Listen, I just want you to know that during this quarantine, during this time, sometimes you just gonna have to blindly, you just gotta, you gotta blindly trust him. You have to just believe that he is going to take care of you. We don't know what's gonna happen next. This is the perfect time to build your faith. This is the perfect time to build your faith. It is. I mean, absolutely perfect time because you have no direction. You have no goal. You can't do anything that's in your own will. You want to go outside, you might get sick. You want to go to, to school, you might get it's so many it's uncertainties, real. right? Yeah. So you yeah. have to be faithful. You have to just trust that he's going to take care of you. So before we get out here, let's pray, and then we'll get to our discussion questions. Father God, we just say thank you. Thank you, God, Lord, for just allowing us to be able to speak to your people. Thank you, God, for Jay, Lord God, and, and just allowing her to be you. Allowing, thank you, God, for allowing to open her heart to be used, Lord God, and to be able to reach the people and reach the masses, to let them know that trusting you and having faith in you is the only way. Your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, the rest will be added to you. Your word also says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we just say thank you for leading us this far. And we pray for anybody on the other side of this camera, Lord God, that is worried, that is wondering, that is scared, that can't 
seem to find you, Lord God, that they just need to just open up your scriptures and listen intently, Lord God. Allow them to be able to understand that they can just follow you and that they can trust you, Lord God, and that we honor you and we thank you in this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 See y'all next week. We'll see y'all. <laughs> You know, we can't leave you without giving you your assignment for the week. So we want you to read Hebrews chapter 11 from, from the beginning to the end, from verse 1 all the way till it's over, all right? That's right. So after you read Hebrews chapter 11, within that book, we want you to actually write down. So grab a pen and paper and write down how does God describe faith, okay? There's going to be a few different things that you see in there. So make sure you write down the way that God describes faith and read over those throughout the week, all right? Hope you guys have a great week. Thanks see for joining us. All right. Thank you.